Hey everybody, it's Leslie Lockhart with Positively Apex and Greet Friendship Magazine, and I'm here for my Real Talk interview series today with a very special friend of mine and one of our wonderful business partners in our program. So I'm going to let her introduce herself. Um, I'm actually going to flip the camera around real quick so that it oh. makes a little more sense. Okay. Um, so this is the lovely, I'll let you say your name and who you're with and more about your business. Heather Chandler, and I am the owner of Whole Brain Escape, right near downtown Apex. And what does that mean? Oh, well, it's an escape room, and an escape room is where you can go and have a real-life adventure. You get together with a group of friends or family, or sometimes we do lots of corporate team building, and you go into a room, uh, for example, busting out of the 80s, and it has a mystery you need to solve. And so you find clues in the room that help you figure out different riddles and combinations. And as you go through and unlock various things, you get more clues and more information about the mystery you're trying to solve. And you have 60 minutes to do it. So it's a lot of fun, the perfect family activity. We've had three generations come in, grandparents, parents, grandkids, and everybody has a great time. Awesome, so how many rooms do you have at Hellburn Escape? We have four rooms, so four different adventures you can go on. Busting out of the 80s, um, Escape the Supervillain's Lair, Seekers of the Mystic Orb, and Mystery of the Mad Scientist. Um, all the rooms are designed and built out by my husband, so we have very unique escape room experiences that you won't find anywhere else. And y'all are not new to the game and puzzle industry. Well, just tell us quick about your history. Yes, so um, both my husband and myself have a background in making video games. I've been making video games for about 25 years. I've been a producer at Activision, EA, Ubisoft, Epic Games. I was the senior producer on Fortnite for about three and a half years. And my job is to help teams find the fun. So I work with the teams to, you know, come up, help, you know, help them shape the concept and turn it into a game. My husband is a game designer and writer, and he has worked at Sony and Ubisoft and Kabam, and he also designs tabletop role-playing games. Awesome. So I love the, for the rooms they have at, at Whole Brainscape. And by the way, if you're watching this, make, keep an eye out. We're going to be um, planning the next event in July at Whole Brain Escape. So some of y'all can come with us, and we'll have an ice cream social and try an escape room or two. Um, well, everyone will try one but anyway um so look for more information on that um but t so tell us about this new endeavor y'all are going through right now so we have a new project that we're doing um we have had people ask us numerous times when are you going to have new rooms because when you come play the escape room you'll play it one time and then you won't come back and play that room because we can't change them out that often it takes a long time to design them and build them out and so we tend to we've had the same four rooms for a while honestly the pandemic kind of put a little dent in that because we were shut down for about eight months so what we are doing now is we are creating an escape at home experience and so we have done smaller escape at home experiences where we have crack the quizzler's code which is um an escape room at home you can play but it's a deck of cards it's a lot of fun We've done two sort of walking puzzle things where you bought, purchase the book, The Secrets of Salem Street or The Curious Case of Carrie, and then you go to the downtowns of either one of those places and we've set it up so there's, there's clues and riddles that you need to solve using landmarks and things that you would find permanently established in sort of carrying apex. But now we have our most ambitious project to date and it is an escape room in a box slash tabletop role playing game. And it's mm -hmm. called Gateways and Griffins and it provides a hundred puzzles for you to solve and sleuth. A hundred? A hundred puzzles, which is far more than any other escape room in a box. Plus, when you have solved all the puzzles, or even before you've solved all the puzzles, you can also use the um, components of the game to play a tabletop role-playing game. We've found that with the popularity of Dungeons and & Dragons and shows like Stranger Things, Parents are looking for a way to connect with their kids and are interested in doing role-playing games. And so we've designed this specific version of a role-playing game to be something that you can easily pick up and play and have a lot of fun with. So after you've solved all the mysteries, you can continue the fun by embarking on adventures of your own. 
So tell me more about that, because I don't want it to sound scary to people as far as the time commitment or anything. What does that mean with 100 puzzles? Is it something you sit down at, w- at one time and do, or is it something you can do over multiple sessions? So Gateways and Griffins is designed so that you can play it at your own pace. So we pack it with puzzles, and if you want to sit down and take a Saturday or a weekend and go through all the puzzles, you're free to do that. Or if you wanted to do just a couple at a time and play it over the course of several days, weeks, or months, that it would operate like that too. It's really up to you how you want to pace yourself through the fun. And um, as far as the role playing experience, once you start doing that, you could easily make um, a, a game session, you know, a 60 to 90 minute game session, perfect for family game night. And it's not, it's not scary or daunting. It's really what you want to make of it. Yeah. Can you explain role playing games a little bit? I'm pretty familiar because my husband likes D and D, Dungeons and Dragons, but. Um, for someone who's just starting out with that and never had done it before, uh, what does that entail? Yeah, so a role-playing game is really very simply, you uh, play with a group of people and you each create characters and then you go on an adventure. So usually the role-playing game has what's called a game master, and the game master is the one who kind of comes up with the scenario and the adventure that the players are going to go on. So the game master roughly knows sort of the key events that might happen and the players don't, but the players all have their characters they've created and they have different strengths and abilities. And so as they go through the adventure, the game master might say, you're starting out in the cave and you hear a mysterious sound coming from one of the caverns, you know, what do you do? And then the player in real time makes choices with their group about what they want to do. And then as they make these choices, the game master the players will use dice to kind of roll to see were they successful, were they not successful, what happened. And so it's really a fun way to use your imagination to go on an adventure, and each adventure is always going to be different because you guys are the ones that are kind of creating, creating the So adventure. you can play it multiple times. You can play it over and over. You can have your character, your same character, and it could go on, you know, thousands of different adventures. I know my husband got really into it. Um, he would have these regular dates um, with friends across the world online and they, he would have a notebook and everything. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are people that are very passionate about it and they have regular groups. Uh, my husband actually has a group that he plays with regularly and they get together and go on these adventures and it's a lot of fun. Cool. Awesome. I love how this new game concept appeals to so many different types of people and ages. Um, so how are you, what's the next step in this game process? So we have decided to uh, use Kickstarter to help us bring this game to life. If you're not familiar with Kickstarter, it's a crowdfunding platform where creators, you know, set a goal for the amount of money they need to raise in order to, you know, pay for printing costs, to pay for artists and things like that. And so we launched our Kickstarter a couple weeks ago. And if you are interested in it, you can go to Kickstarter. The link is um, in our web at our website. We'll post it here in the comments too. Okay, great. So you can go to Kickstarter and you basically say, yes, I am interested in supporting this project. And so you pledge your support. And then if we end up making our goal, you will get charged that amount um, at the time the goal is met, you know, when the Kickstarter is over. And then in a couple months, once we have the games printed, you will get your copy. Now, if we don't reach the goal, then um, it's an all or nothing funding thing. So if we don't reach the goal, nobody gets charged for any of the money they pledge. And we just kind of, you know, wrap that up. And, you know, sometimes people will learn from what they did and try to relaunch the project. But it's, it's a very reputable way to help support creators bring their projects to life, especially for a small business like us. It helps us um, sort of defray the cost of doing a project like this. And we're very excited to bring it to you. And I also want to point out that the once you purchase this, it is actually less than the cost of bringing a family of four to your one escape room. Hmm. So by supporting this project, you can have escape room experience at home that lasts over many hours and have the added bonus of continuing your adventuring once you've solved all the puzzles. That's so cool. And I know that I've seen, uh, I know I've heard of Kickstarter before and I've seen lots of people that go on like Shark Tank and they've started with Kickstarter. So it's just a great way to kickstart a initiative or a product. Absolutely. Um, so anything else you'd like to share before we end this? 
Well, actually, um, if you're not familiar with Whole Brain Escape, uh, we actually do several things with the town of Apex during the pandemic. We had several sort of outdoor puzzle hunts that we put together for people to enjoy. So we are doing something special for 4th of July oh. with the town of Apex. So if you're interested in participating in that, we're going to have a booth. And uh, Raphael is designing sort of a special um, experience for that that you can play at your own time. So you could come to the booth and kind of pick the puzzle up. It's free. And then either play it that day when you're enjoying the other 4th of July festivities or, you know, come back later and do it. Because we are really passionate about um, the Apex community. We live and work here. And so that is something that's um, very important to us. And we also partner up with um, other nonprofits around here to help with fundraising efforts. Awesome. And so just real quick about the escape room, um, where is it located? And um, like how, what are your hours like as far as, I mean, it's a great oh, summer activity for it people. It is going. a great summer activity. So we are located at 410 up Church Street which is very close to downtown. It's actually very near where the new TAP station opened. And you can go to our website and look ahead. So we'd like people to just go to the website and look for their time slot. Um, we are closed Mondays and Tuesdays, but we do have bookings available Wednesday through Sunday. Um, you know, so the website always has the most current information about the hours and what bookings are available. Awesome. Well, thanks for um, letting me talk to you today. And I'm just gonna flip this camera around again. So I just wanna point out, and because I didn't, that Miss Heather, you could read a story about another initiative she had going mm -hmm. on on the cover of the June issue of Greek Friendship Magazine. We did a nice story on her and, um, you know, just this like life-size 3D printed statue <laughs> of her, you know, that was like, you know, being, um, exhibited with a bunch of people women important women in stem across the country so you might want to read that um yeah, thank you, Leslie. <laughs> we're very proud of our heather and um thanks for interviewing today thank you leslie and i'll be posting links to whole brain escape and the kickstarter um here so what you can do to help though is is um share um to your contacts about the kickstarter especially and whole brain escape Yes, thank you. Thanks. Bye.